Hey there. So this is a video I have been putting off for a couple of reasons. Um, one being because I had questions but no answers yet. And the other being shame, pain, <laughs> sadness. <laughs> okay, so back in um, January, February, kind of end of January, beginning of February, we started some seeds together. Even I, we did. And um, there's been problems, <laughs> bad ones. Well, let me just show you first. The tray that I'm about to show you has 50 soil blocks in it. It started out as 40 cells of tomatoes and peppers and 10 cells of companion plants and pollinator friends. They grew, they got cotyledons. And they're gone. Back in um, early January, I guess, I got a plant from a friend. Super awesome. After a bit, that plant started to look not good. And then the plants on my grow shelves in my room near it started to look not good. And then this tray started to look not good. And then this other tray over here that I'm going to show you. And I'm, you know, scratching my head a whole lot trying to figure out what's going on, right? Because, like, my seedlings don't suddenly just fail out of nowhere. And eventually I finally started to see them. Aphids. I started finding these little, tiny, they looked like barely visible white lobster carcasses is all I can think of. Like they might not have fit on the tip of a pencil. That small. And apparently this is some kind of byproduct of aphids going through their life cycle. I have not studied the aphid life cycle. I'm not going to educate you on that. I don't, I don't have any interest in studying aphids at the moment. <laughs> This is the tray that's done the worst, and those little um, greens that you see are some of the chives survived, and then I just threw some um, clover seed on top of this tray last week when it was sitting here, because I was like, well, why not try to get some nitrogen into that soil, which is the other thing. So the same potting soil that I used on these two trays, I've used in some pots and those plants aren't growing leaves, so I think that soil might also have been nitrogen blah, 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 nitrogen deficient. And I do have plans. Obviously the aphid problem I treated with um, soap solution and neem oil, but it was too late for these plants. The plants that were bigger, they survived. I finished the one bag of soil that I made these two trays out of and I've moved into a new bag of soil but it's the same brand and it was bought at the same time and it does seem to be performing a little bit better. Is that the aphids? I don't know. So let me show you the other one. This one was planted two weeks later so it had two weeks less of aphid exposure but see how all the cotyledons just like fell off and they're trying to make second leaves. I did get one aphid off of one of these leaves last night. See them there? So they've still got a little bit, but I have them outside now so that at least the natural predators can take care of them. I'm not counting on anything from any of these plants. I am hoping for this artichoke and there's a little artichoke right here trying to come up. So I'm hoping for those. I know artichokes don't do here well, don't do well here, but I'm stubborn. All of these plants have been restarted. I am so far behind. <laughs> those have their cotyledons and they're just starting to get their real leaves. And I group sewed them. So I'm gonna have to go out and separate them and pot them all up. And it's just a mess and my garden's gonna be a behind and, you know, I might not get summer tomatoes for my slicers. I might have to wait till fall. Everything might just be messed up. And I suppose that's what I get for putting a plant in my room. 
I didn't see aphids on it. They must have been in its soil. But um, yeah, yeah, my first two trays that were started on time are gone and it took them a while to really die. So I didn't start my new ones quite as quick as I could have, which might be a good thing because maybe if I had started the new ones while these were still going through it, I would have just had more aphids and had to start over again. But this is what's going on. It's not awesome. It's not pretty. It's not wonderful. It does not make me happy. <laughs> I do have a plan to recondition the other bag of soil. Welcome to this edition of McCare's Shame. <laughs> I hope I'll be back next week with better news for you. We'll see. <laughs> Later, y'all. Happy gardening. <laughs>